A new day is upon us. A new generation built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? I am so excited to have Tom, Alex, and Quinn from 343 Industries. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Now, I've watched this multiplayer trailer numerous times, and I want to see some specific moments from it so we can break it down. So can we roll the trailer to 15 seconds in, and let's talk about a new character. A new day is upon us. A new generation built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? Alright, now who is this character? She looks like she's in charge. Uh, your, your, your senses are right there. She's very much in charge. That's Commander Lorette. She's in charge of the Spartan Academy, which is the kind of contextual wrapper that the whole multiplayer universe lives in. She is basically training the new generation of Spartans to you know, become better, and that's really where everything wraps around. Um, I really love this character, and then what's cool is not only is it kind of the contextual wrapper for the game, but it's also we have a whole suite of academy features, we call them, where there's a tutorial that teaches the players the fundamental basics of the game. There's weapon drills that let you practice with every weapon that exists in the game and get, improve your skills with those. And then there's a whole thing we call training mode, which lets you play against bots um, on any map, basically, in the game and lets you experiment with the toys and kind of learn the flows of everything. So we really want to bring players on board at the game and, again, under her orders and her charge. Now... I want to go to 50 seconds in the trailer because there was a lot of action going on and I want to check that out. I sat up in my chair a little bit on that one because there was a lot going on there. So please, if you can break that down, let me know what we were seeing. <laughs> There's a lot to break down. I don't know if we got enough time to get all the way into it. Yeah. Um, but the, some of the, the, the things that I really love when I look at that trailer is that, that first sequence where the player, they have the bulldog shotgun, they're running through, shotgunning enemies. They grab the, the commando off the, off the rack. 
put some shots in, low sensor, like there's all sorts of different things that the player is interacting with, and that's the sandbox. That's what we call the sandbox, the toys that is at the disposal yeah. for our players' hands. And, and we just really love that, that moment in the trailer where they have the grapple shot, they look up, grapple the ceiling, and then in midair, no scope snipe an enemy, come all the way down, back whack a foe, and, and then the rest is history as you just see what happened in that trailer. But that's just some of the stuff that, that players can do, and that's actually the game. That's not just a, a movie for cinematic experience. Like, that is the game that if players are good enough, put in time, they can actually do the things that you see in that trailer. Yeah, and few things are more important to Halo multiplayer than like interacting with the sandbox and combining it, picking it up off the map and combining it into awesome play styles. So um, what we did was um, every uh, sandbox item in the game, when it spawns, it's spawning on an object in the map so you can see where those things can be found. And then it also tells you the respawn time of that item, when it's going to come back. And you always know, I can go grab that commando over at this uh, spot like that, that guy did. So, and then when the players you know, accrue all those awesome items and do awesome things, you, know, you heard the return of uh, Jeff Steitzer, the multiplayer announcer, uh, shouting out medals. So we always want to give players medals when they do really cool things. So you heard some there, and you'll hear some later on in the trailer. Oh, that's awesome. See, when I watch that, to me, that's Halo. That's mm -hmm. Halo to me. I absolutely love that. Now, let's skip ahead a little bit more into the trailer to 57 seconds. I heard a voice, so I want to know what this voice is. Let's, let's see it. Hello. Let's do some damage. Yeah, so that is the player's uh, personal AI. Um, so in Halo 5, the, there was a squad leader that uh, announced, you know, when weapons are going to come up uh, and other things going on in the match. And in Infinite, we have the player, uh, like Chief has Cortana, uh, they have a personal AI in their helmet uh, that is kind of telling them these things. Uh, and it's also another way that players can um, show their personality on their, in their characters. So there's multiple personalities and characters for the uh, player to choose um, so that the, the right AI is right. in their helmet uh, helping them out in combat. I want to skip ahead a little further here because I think I might have saw a big team battle. So, so let's go to a minute 40 and, and check that out. Return it to base. Ordnance drop inbound. The flag is ours. Please call at your earliest convenience. That looked like Big Team Battle to me. <laughs> what, what, what's coming new? What are we going to do in Big Team Battle in Infinite? I mean, it's not even just that. I mean, part, it actually opens with actually a 4v4 with a vehicles map called Behemoth in the, at the beginning. So we, we actually are bringing vehicles back into the 4v4 arena. But then, yes, it definitely transitions into the 4v or the 12v12 actually BTB part of the game where we're actually making it a bigger team battle this time. Really wanting to index into the battle fantasy with the more players. Where instead of like vehicles just spawning around the map, we have pelicans drop them off. We have ordnance pods that drop in new weapons. And inside of that whole time, you have the battle commander, Lorette, talking in your ear, giving you orders and trying to kind of encourage you to play around, but really just bringing the whole sandbox and the play style around this whole battle experience that we're building. Yeah, Tom brings up some good points there of, of uh, Commander Lorette and this, you've, you've got your commander on the comms and then you've got the pelicans dropping vehicles and items off, you've got drop pods, everything. It's just it's like this, this theater of war that this time around, it, it is this 12v12 bigger team battle, if you will. And just that last, that, that ending segment, which is like a capture the flag match, is just so beautiful and awesome where you've got the Pelican drop the Banshee off, teams fight over it, you're, you're, you and your teammate are just making a beeline for the Banshee, your teammate gets picked off by the sniper, and you're like, oh no, and then you get the skewer, take that sniper out, jump into the Banshee, and you hit the jets and fly up into the sky and go for the enemy flag. That is, that to us is uh, what is so exciting about this version of Big Team Battle, with all of the toys, all the vehicles, the modes coming back, the maps, the brand new maps that you see there. I mean, it's, it's going to be an amazing experience. Yeah, uh, trust me, I, I cannot wait to get my hands on it for myself. But let's move on. I want to go to 208 in the trailer. 
because I, I think I saw a samurai. So let, let's check that out. Let's go to 208 in the trailer. Now, show me what you can do. Okay. So I guess next would be a ninja because that was definitely a samurai. So kind of talk about that. So we're going to start seeing some more customization with the armor coming. Yeah, in I mean, that is a samurai Spartan armor. Yeah. And so it'll be an, a, an armor you'll be able to unlock for free in the first season, which is super cool. Players will be able to equip it, you know, gain more armor pieces and customization options for et cetera across the season. And then we actually have more of this stuff kind of coming down the line. With, there's actually some really cool ideas that we're seeing in uh, that our team that's building that stuff. So there'll be a lot of other cool armors besides just the really core Halo Spartan armors, there'll be some other different kind of twists and things for players to play with. Awesome. Look, now before we get out of here, first of all, I want to thank all of you for being here to, to talk about Halo Infinite. I'm excited. I can't wait to get my hands on it and play it. But before we do leave, is there anything else that you want to bring up and let fans out there know about? Well, I'm excited for people to actually get their hands on it like yourself. So, I mean, if people sign up on our Halo's Insiders program, we have in the summer, we have a... Uh, uh, a, a technical preview that we're going to be launching and so people to finally get their, put their hands on the sticks and I'm just really excited for players to actually finally get to play the game we're working on. Yeah, and then on launch day, Halo Infinite Multiplayer is free to play, which is new to the franchise. The team is super excited uh, to hopefully bring in you know, all sorts of fans that have potentially never experienced the franchise or haven't played in a long time to just try it out. Come in and, and try it out with your friends. Me, with my buddies, if I have some friends out yeah. there that haven't played Halo before, I'm like, well, it's free. Just, just come on. Let's let jump in, download it. Let's let's check it out. And if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, then hey, it's not. But kind of think it'll be for you. So I'm excited for it. Yeah, that's the the other big key of that point is uh, PC, right? Like this is this is a, a PC game as well. We've been putting a lot of effort into that. So not only is it going to be console, but also PC. It's free to play. Like the barrier to entry is so low, and that has us excited. And I think as we really just a to really think about it is we've been working on this game and as developers when you work on a game you want to get that game out there and that almost seems like for us that's the finish line but in reality it's going to be the starting line for for all of us for us and the halo fans day one there's going to be a bunch of content there and things that are exciting and good but then we're going to add more content we're going to add more maps we're going to add more modes and weapons and vehicles equipment items and it's just the beginning of this whole journey that, that we've been on for a while. And we're going to take everyone else with us as, we, uh, as the game comes out. I'm excited. Gentlemen, again, thank you so much. Now, for fans who want to learn even more about Halo Infinite multiplayer, check out the brand new deep dive video with the whole multiplayer team over on HaloWaypoint.com. And allow me to give a big thanks to everyone who's joined us today. Whether you play your favorite games on Xbox, PC, or Game Pass, the next 12 months will be nothing short of spectacular. It has been my absolute honor to be your host and share this experience with you. But before I go, here's a gameplay deep dive from the team behind the highly anticipated Scarlet Nexus.